the ETCG Architecture and Computer Graphic Training. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Vlado. Great job. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Vlado. I'm the CTO and, uh, of Chaos Group and the original developer of the V-Ray Render. So for those of you that don't know what V-Ray is, it's a ray tracing engine. It's been around for maybe 15 years now. Um, it's used for a number of things. It's used for architectural visualizations. It's used for um, product design. It's used for TV shows, commercials, also for uh, visual effects in movies. Um, and actually, if you have been to a uh, movie theater or you've watched TV in the last few years, you've seen a ton of V-Ray. Because, you know, those heavy carriers and beasts and monsters don't actually exist. So, actually, um, to recognize that, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences um, recognized V-Ray and um, awarded it a SciTech award for introducing ray tracing to the world of visual effects for a film. So that was a good year for us. Thank you. So ray tracing is one of the techniques that so far seems to be best suited for producing photoreal images that you basically cannot tell from reality. Um, it takes a lot of calculations, but it's very accurate. It's based on real-world physics. Uh, v is based on the way uh, lights, materials, cameras work in the real world, so the result is very good. But it takes a while. It's not real-time. We support multi-core CPUs. We support GPUs. Uh, we also have distributed rendering, which is a, a way to take a render and uh, distribute it across multiple machines in a local network, but it still takes a while. So, and Unreal is obviously a real-time render engine, so how do the two go together? Um, we do customers' visits regularly, just trying to figure out what our customers need, what challenges they have, and whether we can help solve them. So this past year, um, the Unreal engine came up a lot. We have customers that are using it for all kinds of different workflows that are not related to games, really, just all kinds of other stuff. But what was surprising for us is that people actually wanted to have V-Ray inside the Unreal Editor itself for a number of reasons. But obviously, if you want to have very accurate reflections or refractions, um, you need to do this with ray tracing. The Unreal Engine is great, but that stuff is still not possible to get uh, in, in real time. And V-Ray can do that. Um, also, if you want to just have a quick look uh, at your scene with full global illumination without having to wait through uh, for a baking process, V-Ray can do that for you. And that's why we decided to put V-Ray into the Unreal Editor, which is what we have here today. Um, we, obviously the data can come in from anywhere. You can use Datasmith or other ways to bring in the geometry, but we also try to make it um, easy for users that uh, have experience with V-Ray in other products. So we did uh, several blueprints for common V-Ray um, objects and uh, V-Ray constructs, like the V-Ray dome light. So we have a special blueprint that allows you to basically rotate the uh, HDRI to set the intensity, basically to set up uh, image-based lighting very quickly. And we also have a blueprint for the V-Ray material, which we used for uh, all the objects in this case. Uh, and it has the same parameters that uh, you have in other integrations of V-Ray, so it's very easy to pick up and use. Um, but another interesting feature uh, that we added to V-Ray from Unreal is there's basically, you can specify a lookup table for uh, converting the real time materials to V-Ray materials. And in this case, for the red car paint and the black car paint that you're looking at now, we basically told V-Ray to use uh, for the actual ray traced image of VR scans material. So VR scans are a way uh, that we developed to scan and render very accurately real world materials. So basically you take a piece of uh, material, you scan it, and then you can render it and it's very accurate. We can also output all, all kinds of render elements for you. Normals, world positions, diffuse color, and so on. 
And uh, for this final animation, we actually use the V-Ray Light Select Render Element to uh, separate the lighting into different layers and then compose them together. So that's my demo. I hope you like it. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we hope that V-Ray for Unreal will be able to make real time slightly more real. Thank you. Thanks, Vladimir.